Namaskar. I'm extremely happy to be able to have these conversations which have been titled Musical Detours. When I say detour, it doesn't mean that I'm going to speak on something that isn't music. It means that I'm connecting to music which will not be what I normally represent. You know the core music that I sing, Karnataka Sangeetam. It will be about facets and facades of the different collaborations that I've had over the years, over a few decades perhaps. It's like a throwback on my musical journey. When I speak of collaborations, it means that I'm going to talk to you about the various global festivals that I have represented our music in, that I've interacted with world musicians, or rather musicians from different parts of the world. The first of this was a journey into Germany. And how did that happen? When the organizer of that particular festival in Lorach, it's called the Stimmen Festival, Mr. Helmut was in Bangalore in the late 90s and he happened to walk into my concert at Chamaraj Pit in Bangalore, which is called the Fort High School Festival. Uh, a series of Ram Navami festivals happened there. And uh, this was a particular concert dedicated to Lord Rama. What happened was that he listened to the concert, he went back and conceptualized this one-off in a festival which was called the Global Vocal Meeting. And in this particular showcasing, he wanted only voices to take the lead in the show. And so he chose singers from different countries. Mali, Madagascar, Hungary, Switzerland, USA, and India. And when he wrote this letter to me, I was so excited. I was like a child who was given a candy. Because this was really the first step into a bigger space. When Helmut invited me to the Stimmen Festival, the first thought that flitted through my mind was a little bit of nervousness and trepidation whether I would fit into this group. I was wondering how would I match my voice with those voices that came from Mali and Madagascar. Hungary and Switzerland, yes, because they were female voices. And hence, I took a little bit of time to say yes and nod my head in the affirmative. I also added that I would need to bring my accompanying artists with me to give them a complete perspective of what Carnatic music offers. And Helmut was really generous to say yes. This tour included not only the concert instrument, but was a little tour into France and Norway as well. It involved a week's workshop where I would be thrown into a situation with all these musicians. We had to firm up something for a concert. We had to firm up content that was good enough to stand on by itself in a concert. We traveled to Paris and after a concert in Paris, we took a train to Laura and then as we got off the train, we got such a warm reception from the organizers that I felt I would be happy and comfortable there. We had a workshop for a week for us as musicians to understand each of our music. And then we had to arrive at a content that would last for two hours on the evening of the performance. So each one of us, we sat in a circle, we had biscuits to eat, we had candies, we had juices, everything was there for us. And all we had to do 
was to thrash out our music and merge our ideas. Each of us sang a bit of our music and then we charted out seven or eight items or so we say compositions in which each one of us would get into the other's music. Of course I chose Brahma Mokate because the lyrics were easy for them to follow. I would sing the main chagnams and they would join in the refrain and in the chorus. We had a little uh, story to the composition as a prelude. The second composition that I chose was A Wedding in the Forest where we brought in the sounds of animals just by voices with very minimal accompaniment again for another session of musical detours with something else in mind. Jala kwa ba, jala kwa ba, e ialeru atimisi futune. 